If you run a faceless YouTube channel or want to create one, then I'm sure you know how important AI generated images are for content creation. They are a great way to express your thoughts and grab viewers' attention. But how many times have you been deep into creating images for your videos only to get a message saying you've hit your daily limit? I know it's very frustrating, and almost all AI image generators have this limit. But no need to worry because in this video, I will show you an awesome tool that works on stable diffusion and can create high quality AI images images for free and most importantly it doesn't have a daily limit you can generate unlimited images with this tool i will try to keep it as detailed as possible so make sure you pay attention now without any more delays let's get started now in my previous video i showed you a tool called focus to generate images this time i will show you the updated version of it it is more powerful and has more useful features that weren't available in focus it's called defocus it is also a google collab tool that runs on stable diffusion it's essentially the improved version of focus and here you can also edit your images which is awesome. Now, if you want, you can download the app and run it on your computer, but that requires a high-end PC with a strong GPU. So we'll use the Google Colab Notebook option. This is cloud-based, so you don't need any GPU and can use it on any device. Once you click on the link, you will see an interface like this. Now you can change the theme from here and also the image generation style. I'll just keep it on default because you can change these settings later as well. Now from here, click on this connect button and it will connect to the GPU. After that, click on this little play button and it will start running the code. It will take a bit of time depending on your internet speed, so be patient. After some time, you will get this Gradio link. Click on it and it will take you to the main interface. Now from here, you can generate the images if you want, but if you want more control, then click on advanced and it will open this section. From here, you can change the settings for your image. In this section, you basically need to tell the AI whether to focus on quality or generation speed. If you want great quality results, then you can select quality, but it will take a bit longer to generate and if you want faster results, you can choose any one of these options. I'll just keep it on default for this video. You can choose the desired aspect ratio for the images from here and from this section, you can tell the AI how many images to create at once. You can generate up to 32 images at once, which is crazy. Now here you can see that it has Photopea built in, so you can edit your images with ease. For those who don't know, Photopea is basically the online version of Photoshop and it's free. It also has a background remover built in, which is very useful. Don't worry, I will demonstrate everything, so make sure you watch till the end. Now let's give it a prompt and generate our image. I will provide this simple prompt and hit generate and let it generate the images. Once it's done, you can see that the results are looking awesome and extremely realistic. Trust me, you won't get this kind of quality images for free anywhere else. Now let me show you how you can change the image style without writing anything extra in the prompt. To do that, go to style and you can choose from all these available image styles. You can see that there are numerous options available and you can just hover the cursor over each one to get a preview of that particular style. I'll uncheck these default options and select this anime style, then hit generate. After it's done, you can see that the prompt is the same, but the image is different because we chose that particular style. Now you don't need to search for the perfect prompt detailing the image style and aspect ratio anymore. A simple prompt like this will work completely fine and the best part is you can preview each style before generating. Let's try one more style. This time I'll choose the cyberpunk one and uncheck the previous style then hit generate and look at that. This is amazing. Honestly, this is so good I could play with this all day but for the sake of this video, I'll stop here. It also has the option to use an image as a prompt. To do that, select input image, then go to image prompt and upload your image here. Next, scroll down and click on advanced and turn this value to one and hit generate. As you can see, it has mimicked the image nicely. Now, if you want the AI to reference the input image even more, you can turn this value higher and then generate. It also has a feature to get the prompt from any image. To do that, go to the describe tab, upload the image, select the image type and hit describe. It will then generate the prompt for you. Now, let's remove the background of an image. Image. First, go to this option and upload the image here. Then just hit remove background and it will remove the background for you. As you can see, it has done a pretty awesome job. Now you don't need to use any other website to remove the background. You can just do it here and it's completely free. And if you want to edit your images, you can do that from this Photopea section. Just upload the image here and you can do some serious photo editing with this. It is also completely free. And there you have it, folks. An AI image generator that is very powerful and can also generate unlimited limited images for free. Honestly, doing all the things we have done here would have cost you a lot of money and required three to four different tools. Now use your creativity and make good use of this tool to create great content. If you found this video useful, give it a like and please support the channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and as always keep grinding.